Hey, Wallace, what happened to Carl Edwards' man? What happened to his wife? I heard his wife told him he had to quit and spend more time at home. Hey, Wallace, I heard Carl Edwards had a head injury. <laughs> man, we've heard it all, haven't we? Just went to uh, Waffle House. I like my Davy Allison hat. Come on! So the big story in the garage area is uh, Jeff Gluck on his Twitter timeline reported that Jordan Bianchi, uh, I think I said it right, Bianchi, remember I only went one through 12, so don't hold me to any high esteem. I'm not that smart. I only went one through 12. <laughs> so let's address this. What happened to Carl Edwards? Today's story is quite eye-opening. So here, here's the disclaimer. When I say disclaimer, here's the story, here's the timeline. TRD, Toyota Racing Development, uh, President David Wilson uh, does an interview and says to this day, the one thing that burns my ass was that fake caution that caused Carl Edwards the NASCAR Cup Championship down at Miami Homestead. So Carl Edwards has this big old lead over a straightaway. He's gonna win the championship. And back in those days, we had these things called Jacques Debris. <laughs> Jacques Debris was a phantom caution, meaning, meaning that the race was boring and NASCAR became very famous and kind of laughed it off. Oh, nothing, nothing better than a good caution to gather the field up. So, except this one went bad. They threw the caution, and here's what happened. When they threw the caution this time, it wasn't simply to gather the field up. We're not midway through the race. This one, NASCAR took a big bite out of the apple. It was for the championship. So the next thing that happens, it all goes wrong. They're thinking that they're just gonna have a good finish. Well, if we remember, Joey Logano gets on the inside of Carl Edwards. Carl Edwards turns left to block him. All hell breaks loose. Carl Edwards goes smashing into the wall. It was a violent wreck. They were still going up through the gearboxes. Second, third, fourth. Bad wreck. So the phantom caution, the Jacques Debris. Remember when uh, Fox Sports... They were like, oh, there's the caution because everybody's like, what's the caution for? So it got so bad to the point that Fox, NASCAR and Fox said, there it is. They had to find it. Couldn't find it. It was Jacques Debris. It was a phantom caution. Now, that is the disclaimer. That's the story. Now let's fast forward to right now. David Wilson, the president of Toyota Race and Development, tells the truth in this incredibly scathing, <laughs> I sound like TMZ right now, but when I read it, I went, whoa. So David Wilson says, the one storyline in my NASCAR career, now this is David Wilson, the president of Toyota, Toyota Racing Development, he says was when, they, when NASCAR threw the fake caution. And he said, we went to NASCAR after Carl Edwards losing that championship. And we told NASCAR we were not happy and they were loud and clear. Well, uh, so what happened to Carl Edwards? Here's my take on what happened to Carl Edwards. I believe, and maybe when Carl watches this, he'll come out one day. I believe that Carl Edwards was very frugal. I think that Carl Edwards had north of $50 million saved up. Lives up here in Columbia, Missouri, maybe 80 to 100 miles for where I live, right here in Arnold, Missouri. Boy, you give somebody around Missouri north of $50 million, in, you know, I don't know. Let's say Carl was knocking down $10 million a year for 10 years, $100 million. He only had one thing. He had a jet, and that's because... I always said that Carl Edwards was a Boy Scout. He did Boy Scout things. 
Carl Edwards tried to see if he could always uh, do more with less. I flew with Carl one time. I said, Carl, where's your, where's your suitcase? Where's your stuff? He's the pilot. I'm riding shotgun. We're flying up to uh, Bristol. And he goes, oh, man, he goes, I just, I just go to the front counter. and They give me daughter, teeth, and a little, little you know, comb. So I, I figured Carl Edwards out at that time. He's pretty frugal. I always make this joke, Missouri frugal. I believe Carl Edwards has all the money he needs, doesn't need any more. He's got a lot of money, and I believe he said to hell with it. When he realized that's what was going on back in those days, he says, I'm out. I got all the money I need. If this is the game y'all are going to play, I was serious. You know, Carl's thinking, I'm going to win this championship. And then all of a sudden, the Jacques Debris comes out. I believe Carl Edwards left with a broken heart. Quote, unquote, from Kenny Wallace. I think Carl Edwards left NASCAR with a broken heart. Now, after that, this is what I think happened with NASCAR. I believe that Toyota had a sit-down meeting with NASCAR as reported by David Bianchi, Jeff Gluck on Twitter. I read the whole deal. It's there for you to read. Remember, I'm just commenting on what I read. And I'm giving my opinion. None of this is fact. I'm just like you. Hey, Wallace, what happened to Carl Edwards? I'm telling you what I think happened to Carl Edwards. So because of that whole fake caution, Carl Rex, you know, he just leaves NASCAR with a broken heart. Can't believe it. So now I believe the judging by the hip in NASCAR, I believe those days are over. It is true that years ago, NASCAR did judge by the hip. You know, they, they couldn't, they, they didn't have all the tools in place. Like when the caution come out, where's everybody on the racetrack? Now they got that. They got a line underneath every section, area of the racetrack. They can, they can show you uh, fact. Now when, you know, we look at anything, tech inspection, they're hands off. I believe that if, if, if Carl Edwards could have stuck it out another couple, three years, he would be reaping the rewards from this new era in NASCAR. Now, do, does NASCAR, you know, do they, they go, hey, let's, let's push, push this person, let's push that person? Yeah, there's no doubt they do that. I mean, that's, that's in any sport. But I believe that everything is on the up and up now because they can't get away because there's too much technology now. So I feel bad for Carl. I, I believe he quit NASCAR with a broken heart because of the fake caution. And you know, when we look back through sports, let me give you an example of some things that have gone bad in officiating with any sport. Check this one out. So I'm a baseball fan, right? Okay, maybe you're not, but I am. How about about four years ago when uh, the pitcher, he's throwing a no-hitter. I mean, a perfect game. Everything's going good. And there's a, you know, ball goes to the shortstop guy, and he, he throws him out at first base. It's clearly an out. But the ump has a bad view, and he, go, he goes, safe. That ump, mistakenly, but judging by the hip, ruined that man's perfect game. I mean, any pitcher that gets a perfect game, they go down in history or any type of statistics. This hump, judging by the hip. Now, later on, he did apologize, but it, it stood. So when you look at sports nowadays, they, that's where the, you know, the, the replay comes from. You know, everything is replay now because everything is right there. So... That's my opinion on the whole Carl Edwards debacle. I can see the headline of this video right now. What happened to Carl Edwards? So let's summarize it all. I believe that Carl Edwards quit NASCAR with a broken heart because he realized that they were judging by the hip. Hey, I can see old Hoots up in the tower right now. David Hoots is actually a good friend of mine. He's up in there. They all talk and they go, hey, 
Throw a caution, let's gather this field up. They forgot it was for the championship and they didn't realize that it could go that bad. Not until today did this article come back and, and light it up. I'm sure you're gonna hear more about this, but that's my opinion. Peace out. Woo, Davy Allison, baby.